Because it's a Wednesday night and we would like to go home. Yeah. So best of three all around. Here we go. We have three up to six games to play with in the event of a reset as well. Going on to PS2. Here we go. Boom, bam, bop. And J Dizzle. I, I'm really excited to see numbers against um, against Young Ling. Never see his matchup usually. And I can't even know any Young Lings over yeah, here. It's weird, right? Because Tri State has very few Young Lings. Like the only Just one Lynx I. Just Lings in general, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I mean, there's Brett, yep. uh, there's Delta Force for Link. Absolutely. Uh, for Toon Link, there's Odd McBob. There's Spook, there's uh, Spoopy, there's. Spoopy. Yep. But for Young Link. None. Almost none. Not one. There's Biddy. That's it. Shout out to Biddy. Biddy, <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah. Let's go, oh, Biddy. Yay! Let's go, Biddy. If that's true, yay. If it's not, damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Biddy. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of, there's not Biddy here. It is Jay oh. Dizzle, kind of, kind of cooking numbers, and let's see how, let's see how Jay Dizzle also approaches this ledge, um, this ledge gameplay from numbers as well. And I think he's doing it very well because he has the uh, ability of these projectiles to really threaten numbers so much. Yeah, he doesn't need to play numbers this game nope. in a lot of ways. Because yeah, like yeah, I can like numbers can stay on plat stay on ledge. That's fine. I'll place a bomb there and like shoot arrows, throw boomerang. I'll get all set up. So numbers, now you've gotta get down you've gotta get off in a safe manner and he took like however much damage that was because of it. Mm -hmm. As well as recovering just so cleanly. Able to get, like, just ride, like, underneath the stage using it as a roof, but then air Pogo drifting stick. back. Wow. Pogo stick. Did he bounce off the yep. soccer ball first? Very nice. I believe so. So I call it pogo stick. It just it, bounces. It, 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 you're it's right. a pogo stick. Let's see. Actually, it might have just been yeah. him raw down there. Yeah, yeah, just raw down there. There was the startup like the, of the volleyball, yeah. but, uh, of the header, but not, uh, didn't come out yet. And the jump in looked like a little balance, but yeah. Just a regular little pogo stick action. Jay does only 10% on him, and I think Numbers is going to have to formulate a plan around his ledge play because it's, it's simply not working in this situation with the onslaught of these bombs, these fire arrows, and boomerang as well to cover any high recovery, um, any jump ins from ledge as well. It's just a yeah. perfect all around counter uh, play that Jay does is showcasing on Numbers. Oh no! Jay is aware, are Wait, you? Wait, you're fine! Oh, he is. He's a daredevil. I love it. I respect it. Yeah, this You're is crazy. A, this is an Ocarina of Time, Young Link. This is Majora's Mask, Young Link. This is Young Link with depression. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> that game is not depressing. <laughs> and it's the reason why he's riding the Razor's Edge like he yep. is. Oh. oh yep. <laughs> Contests a little bit too much of projectiles, and unfortunately, Sun Citation bigger than your little fire arrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna eat that alive. And, and you. <laughs> and you. Like so. It's like. Mm -hmm. Num numbers leaning on the fact that like charge projectiles, while it does take a little bit of time to charge, uh, any of these fire arrows, any of these like boomerangs, just nope. Like mm. you have to, you now have to respect that mm -hmm. and turn away from your onslaught and the amount of projectiles you're throwing. You yep. have to focus on quality, not quantity. Yep, absolutely, completely right. And I think. I think you saw in that little moment, that little excursion, Numbers was finally starting to do a little bit more central central stage play, and he was absolutely winning a lot of the interactions that he um, that were started on that situation. But once he went back to the ledge, J Dizzle cleared up that second stock, and yeah. Numbers is threatened with his la with his uh, final stock of the first game. Again, getting these timings for Sun Salutation really on point. Understanding when J Dizzle wants to like land with Arrow, which is uh, all the time. <gasps> That's huge. I think I'm pretty sure he was definitely drifting towards the ledge, but just a little bit too far, a little bit too high up, and landed into a very perfect situation for a forward throw, and then another excursion into the F tilt. I was gonna say it's like you had a chance to, you had basically got like a free F tilt earlier on that whiff recovery, yep. but numbers took the grab, didn't lose too much off of it, and there you go. Now you got to sprinkle in bombs. Bombs are not projectiles; they are items, mm -hmm. and they will just clash, and the bomb will explode. So you know, fun little properties and item properties all abound, and that is a it's that fun. is the game we play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was gonna say, actually, we we, we saw boomerang uh, be thrown out earlier whilst John was charging up Sunsail, and I think the wind box of charging Sunsail like threw the boomerang back to a little back. Good, <laughs> okay, it worked. I believe, I believe it. Oh, the clash! Beautiful. Able to pick up there with the grab. Super nice from Jade. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, trapping at ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. No. <laughs> and go back. <laughs> he went back into his like little like tunnel. Like, oh. Don't even, you know. Leaving your garbage here. <laughs> Throw it out. 
super good, super oh. funny stuff from numbers, but excellent use of dash attack to counteract the uh, the on approaching dare. This is the numbers effect. Like mm -hmm. sometimes numbers just stays like no matter how much control of the game you think you have, uh, and no matter how much control of the game you actually have, numbers finds a way to stick around. Mm -hmm. and stick around just long enough to where suddenly, like oh, I'm scared of anything deep breathing related. Very nice bomb oh play though goodness. from Jada's of like doing a lot of work and a lot of pressure. But Numbers has just been ignoring so much of a big whiff. That's huge. That's the death? Yes. Determination mm -hmm. from Jadizzle. I don't know if they plan to think, if, if they had that like layered out in their head, but they committed to the uh, to the confirm. They went for the play. It's right here. We get, we get to see. Numbers Whiffs once this, again. Yeah. But then turns the recovery back air into just a second back air. Everybody, and Numbers, I bet Numbers is thinking, two whiffed aerials, defensive option has to be coming. I can jump out of shield here. But Young Link has enough frame data to whip three aerials. Three <laughs> of them. Three of them, thanks. Three of them, thanks. <laughs> not one, not two, but three. <laughs> and he's fine. He's, he's winning. He's up a game, even. Oh, up in, uh, up at Zeno. Mm -hmm. I was also gonna mention. Go I it. think Jadzo was also like super aware of Numbers' habit, knowing that he can grab bomb and just throw it out and go back to ledge. I think he abused that habit that Numbers picked up on, on himself, um, because after Numbers grabbed that bomb, it was free real estate for an extra bomb to come out during Ooh. the throw, and that was the the, the the finisher for that for that up smash. It was Jadzo's awareness and ab ability to maintain information like that on the fly. Super, super, super good. And you're seeing the, like just exactly what you're talking about, Mott, like applied into theory in similar ways. Like not only was it with second bomb, but also with drag down fair. Like, hey, yep. if you're gonna focus on like the items I'm dropping, then this is free reign to throw out an aerial. Like you're giving me initiative. Where are you going? Okay, great. I can play for it. No, like, he's pretty fine. Like he's yeah. okay. He has he, bomb recovery. Scores. Anything. Like when when the jump is there, he scores. scores. He just leaves. Like, um, he, like he left oh. his first stock. Yeah, just as quickly. Oh, oh very nice. Yep. That was beautiful. Look at number. <laughs> it's like that confirmed shouldn't be real. But like, it, it very much play, is. You play Wii Fit. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you literally play Wii, Wii Fit. Not buys, by the way. You play Wii Fit. <laughs> Either way, now we're going back into this onslaught of projectiles that J Dozo is so good at just kind of mixing up the, the timings for them, mixing up the pattern and also just being aware of what Numbers is going to do on reaction as well. I'll think go for a little more space as well, giving Numbers, t uh, unfortunately, some time to actually get that Sun Citation up and running. Doesn't Toon Link, not Toon Link, hello. The, the Links have the, the sword ability to shoot through projectiles? Um, as in like sword beams? Like if you like crouch, stand, or, um, or oh, walk. Oh, the shield. Yeah, the yeah, shield. Uh, yes, all, all of the Links do. I, okay, yeah. Use it <laughs> for sun True. Correct. <laughs> Use it. <laughs> the problem when it comes to it doesn't you can't if you have a bomb in your hand. I see. Yeah. So Makes the, sense. the fact that Jay Dozel has been throw, uh, playing around with bombs a ton and that's like been a big part of his offense uh, that shuts down Ooh. any sort of counterplay. Easy that was counterplay evil. to shun salutation. But uh, agreed. Yes. See, numbers has once again been bamboozled by crouching, <laughs> and then Australia said no. <laughs> It's like, hey, um, you can have all that, uh, but Young Link has this button called down tilt. That into is up air. Into fair. In, into, into fair? Into uppy? Into uh, nair? Into up air? Like this, into so Young Link, and it's safe? Like, Young Link down tilt is pretty great. good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Good out of 10, I would say. All right, now I'm checking the, the deep breathing, but I'm kind of liking the, the Z drop bomb in place of that instead. It's a little bit more percentage on numbers as well. Deep breathing active. We have Sun Citation also fully charged. And Jesus has to be really careful because, yep, I was going to say that. The Sun Citation is going to come out whenever John wants, and you're going to eat like 25% for it, and it sucks. Ooh, that was ooh, such that was a so cheeky good. trap. Oh my god. Multiple times, J Dizzle has run in just like, abrazingly with a bomb in hand, like, you know, child with an explosive, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> child with an explosive, run. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time, just inverting it ever so mm -hmm. slightly, catching numbers slipping, catching numbers without expectation for how everything's going to go. This is humongous territory. This is really good territory for J Dizzle. Right now, gain the uh -oh. whiff. Oh, you're you're dead. Has a wall jump. You're fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forget that she has a wall jump. That's my bad. Yeah. That's a whiff grab. 
Toon Link is uh, Young Link is very small. You are not grabbing Young Link. You know? Yeah. When I said a little earlier about Young Link down tilt. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, that button's safe. And yet. <laughs> and yet. Yes. You know what we saw after a very nice recovery by numbers? After a very nice little like, oh, I hold shield. Safe. Why Spot are dodge. you shield grabbing? Why are you shield grabbing? <laughs> Come on! It's 2022. It's Young Link. Like none of it. Like you can't. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Obliterated for it, just gone. <laughs> like, that was great. Like she's literally doing. Oh. Let, let me change. It, let me. Change, she's she's doing colon colon D right there. Colon D. <laughs> <laughs> shocked. Absolutely shocked. Four. How did this? That happen? was great. Down <laughs> to down to on shield, completely safe. Yes. And then numbers was like, I'm going to grab little hitbox. Oh, I whiffed it because he spot dodged after the safe move. Crazy. Bunga bunga. He got away with that <laughs> so many times. In, in previous it, sets, too, yeah. that happens a lot. Like, shoe grabbing is not a bad mechanic. It's great. No, it's no, convenient. It's not. amazing. Like, all jokes aside, like, but yeah, it, your it's habits, viable. Yeah, habits came through. Yeah. And it's okay. It happens to the best of us. And guess what? I can't believe... I can't believe Tri-State, once again... Not Tri-State, I'm sorry. New York City, <laughs> once again, got... International. It was Gact first, Japan. Now it's three Australians. Yeah, two made top eight. Two made top eight. One, one got the dub. Number, number one got number one. Well, <sighs> we'll have to see. Maybe next week. Maybe at a later. Uh, Y'all gotta that's get coming. the run back at, at at a major. At you know, you know where you can get your comeback at. Likely. Maybe, you know, Likely, Collision 2023. Yeah, yes. I mean, it has international talent all exactly. over the place. In, and just major talent in general with for both Melee and Ultimate, including Hungrybox, Mugleo, Zane, Light, IBW, Tweak, JMook, DeBuzz, like, and then the list goes on. Like, so for Ultimate and Melee, you're not going to want to miss any little bit of the mm. action, action happening on March 10th through 12th, 2023. And the signups are available right now. Now at so this sign up. very moment. Sign up. There's Our also a hotel discount, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if you guys sleep somewhere, the hotel, they got you. The discount on everything over at the Smash DG at the start DG page. Uh four shots collision. And if you're in New York at the uh, you know a little bit before that, again, Zeno Saga Zeno what I say? This is <laughs> Zeno Saga Extra Large Part 5 is upon us December 17th. This series, I will live with it till I die. I love it. Saturday, December Huge 17th, fan. here over here at 20 Little Street. Same place as our weeklies on Wednesdays. Come out. There's doubles. There's singles. It's $25 in total for all the events. If you're going to do all three or just $10 singles, $10 um, venue, and $5 doubles per person. And last but not least, if you want to even come before that, there's Waypoint Warriors, our neighbor over at 65 Little Street, New York. Only a six-star venue, $6 entry. And there's a uh, there's a little discount for bringing us up. So go... Go, go prove it at Waypoint Warriors for being a warrior. Come on, Waypoint Cafe. They have great coffee as well. So, I think that's everything. You gotta get a, you, you gotta catch a train. I, yeah, I you gotta, gotta catch a train. I gotta catch a train. We gotta say good night because yes. it's 11 p.m. on a Wednesday evening. So this has been Xeno number 270. I've been Ubel, joined by the lovely Mox. I have a big fan. And Bestie. <laughs> no, no me. <laughs> Follow us both on Twitter, right Mox with an extra A. Ubel, so beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It's not Ubi. <laughs> Ubel. All right. Uh, so here we yeah. go. We are. Uh, we're gonna be heading out. Uh, uh, we forgot to shout out. Of course, the oh. big one, the most important one. Incredible. House of Three Thousand, who are going yes. to be doing the Scuff Invitational, who are going to be doing Xeno the Weekly, who is here, the best production in North America. House of Three Thousand, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, where all the vods are right now. House of Three Thousand on all of them, and you're not gonna want to miss any Absolutely. single. One of their projects. Yep. So go follow House. Get they need jobs. Get them some jobs. <laughs> All right. Get them some jobs. Hire us. Help. Uh. They need help. <laughs> they need help, and we're gonna help them. So get them some jobs. Subscribe to their Twitch. Right now. Right here. A month. We're one sub away. We're some. We're one sub away <laughs> from our goal of how many? So I cannot wait. Uh, I want. I'm tired. <laughs> it's time to close out. So. Great tournament. Thank you, Australia, once again for coming out. And y'all were y'all were amazing to watch. Thank you so much. Hope to see you back here um, sometime in the near future. But either way, we gotta go. So have a good night. <laughs>